We met in New York in 2002. Lois, I think, had heard about the company and seen images of the company, uh, dancers in mid-flight, mid-air, because um, my work up until now has been quite ballistic and aerial and gymnastic. I told him that I shoot digitally now and um, I do live photo events, which is where you invite an audience and they watch a little mini photo shoot um, shot digitally in which the images are projected you know, virtually simultaneously and the reaction is always um, Wow, I mean, people just can't, they just get so excited when they see the frozen moment of someone jumping. Gary started to think that, gee, this could be the basis of a collaboration in which we made a dance together based on photography as a theme, and in which I would be shooting the live action on the stage as part of the show, and the images would be projected simultaneously with the dance as simultaneous as possible so that the people could see the dance and see the moment that they couldn't have seen because it's happening too quickly. And, um, and then the choreography he developed was really about photography in the, the movement in the scenes and the lighting, all the special effects. It's really kind of about the history of photography, the process of photography, and the act of, of perception, the act of looking, my looking at the dancers, the dancers looking at us, um, changing the time base, doing things in slow motion, showing a two thousandth of a second, showing these arrested moments, you know, moments held while the dance is, the dances are frenetically dancing. Well, I went back to, the, to Australia and just started reading about photography and uh, reading about the, the techniques of photography as well as um, a bit about the history of photography and also um, philosophical ruminations on, on photography and, and a few important texts. Um, and then uh, from that point sort of started drawing up a bit of a, a kind of almost like a storyboard of ideas, which is generally how I, I, I kind of commence making all of my works. There's a period of research and, and in some ways I treat all of my works a bit like an essay. Um, there's this period of research and then, then structuring the work from that conceptually and, and then you know, eventually that leads into the rehearsal period. I mean, the very first thing we did in rehearsals was Lois came over from New York and we spent a week in the studio uh, taking photos and in the rehearsal studio. And really that was the key to the rest of the process in many ways because um, we divined from, from that um, rehearsal period, from that, that, those photographic sessions, uh, the manner in which we could work together and, and also um, the way in which the choreography needed to head. And it was really interesting because the work prior to Held was, that I'd made was called The Age of Unbeauty, which is also quite ballistic and gymnastic and there's a certain kind of brutality to it. And uh, I had been wanting to give the dancers a bit of a break from that kind of <laughs> uh, gymnastic, ballistic um, material. And then it became very evident very quickly that indeed held as well needed to be kind of within sort of that aerial dimension and the dancers weren't actually going to sort of get the well-deserved break that they probably, did, they probably needed. <laughs> um, anyway, so held unfolded as this incredibly aerial and ballistic uh, work that, that really showcases the dancers kind of, of ADT uh, who train very specifically um, for being able to kind of execute that kind of movement vocabulary in the air.